billions of dollars worth of construction projects at prisons, schools, even here at the state capitol were all put on hold when the state lawmakers failed to pass a construction budget. Some of the work that was supposed to be done here in Olympia was to do some preventative roof maintenance here at the capitol. After this wet fall, the crews here wish that work could have been done. It's supposed to be the quiet time of year in Olympia. This whole space should be completely dry. But all the rain this month. I think it stopped raining about three or four hours ago now. Has kept repair crews busy, forcing them to come up with creative ways to deal with a leaky roof. It's a temporary fix, and obviously this is can't be something long term. This plastic is only going to last so long. The state would like to replace this skylight, a potential source of one leak where birds of prey use the windows as food prep areas. For now, plastic sheeting is covering the space. We closed this restroom because um, we're getting water intrusion. The state's also trying to divert water from another leak. This is brand new. Believed to be coming from a flat area surrounding the mini domes halfway up the building. In the spring, the state flew a drone over those domes to identify potential trouble spots. But the funding to pay for the preventative work on the Capitol's roof this summer got held up in gridlock below. Senate Republicans and House Democrats couldn't reach a deal to pass a construction budget for the first time in state history. If funding was available, yes, we could definitely be doing more. Capitol Campus architect Chris Gizzi says there's no way to know if the preventative work would have prevented these leaks, but he says the lack of funding has slowed their ability to make repairs, potentially making these relatively minor leaks more costly to fix for taxpayers. We could potentially see um, cracks open up more additional water coming through. Um, so there's there's things that definitely need to be addressed sooner than later. Now, Democrats did take control of the Senate this month, but they're still going to need to work with Republicans because passing all of the bonds required to pay for the construction budget takes a two thirds majority. The architect here at the Capitol is hoping for a budget agreement soon or at least a dry winter. In Olympia, Drew Mickelson, King 5 News.